Hi Sagittarius, this is Patricia from the Cosmic Moonchild Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your November 2017 Love and General Reading. For the new subscribers, I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community for over 20 years giving channeled messages through my angels, spirit guides and ancestors and also on a worldwide one-on-one -on -one readings. Okay, I want to thank uh, Sagittarius. Uh, I want to thank you for, uh, for those people that have been with me from the beginning, for all your love and your support, and uh, for, for your for every time I've done your readings, I always felt a love, a genuine love and support from all of you, and I want to thank you. I am very humbled and grateful for everything that you have done for me, Sagittarius, okay? Uh, I changed things around a bit uh, in my readings because I'm trying to, you know, try, I'd like to try different uh venues of how to present my cards or uh, it doesn't matter how I change if I change the way I do things my angels still uh, channel messages through me to give you the right messages um, uh, that um, you are seeking for uh, I'm sorry if the video is late last week I went through a transformation and a few upgrades and the angels had asked me to uh, not do any card readings and to rest and I had to rest because I was going through a transformation. I am feeling better now, um, and uh, here I am to give you your November 2017 reading. So, uh, now, I just want to state that if some of the reading is for you, okay, if you feel something of the reading is for you, that it was meant for you, if then you feel that I'm going more deeper in the reading and it's not meant for you, and you feel it's not for you and it causes you confusion, that means the reading is not for you. Always check your rising, your moon, and your Venus, okay? Because I do work with Venus because Venus is a planet of love as well, okay? And if those of you that don't know how to do that, all you need to do is go on Google and type in free birth chart astrology. And there you could follow any link you want, press it, and you'll put your information, the time you were born, where and when and uh, if you don't know the time uh, don't second guess it put 12 p.m. and there it's going to give you all the planets with all your uh, all your signs in it okay and sometimes you should check your rising and your uh, moon and your Venus because um, I'm sure that you're going to get a bit of messages everywhere and then uh, maybe uh, your answer could be questioned uh, your answer could be questioned your question could be answered <laughs> that's what I meant I'm sorry sometimes uh, my mouth talks faster than the, I talk too quickly. Anyways, so let's get back to the reading here, okay? Um, so how it's going to work is I'm going to give you two general readings. Then I'm going to give a reading for the singles and the dating and a reading for the, um, and a reading for couples and married, okay? And then at the end of the reading, I have cards that came out that, that are uh, just especially from the un uh, universe and the angels that popped out of the reading that I put on the side and I didn't look at the cards yet and we're going to look at them together, okay? So, as I was looking into your reading, Sagittarius, I realized a lot of you are not sleeping well at night. You're up at night. You're worried, okay? I feel that some of you are dealing, those of you that have children, are dealing with children right now that you're having a hard time with your kids, okay? They're not like being, uh, they're giving you a hard time, okay? I see here uh, a soulmate union that is uh, right now you are separated with the soulmate union. And um, I feel that the challenge for you is uh, is your soulmate union, okay? I got the two cards reversed. And when I see a card like this reversed, it shows me that there's a separation right now, okay? Things are not going well in the home front, okay? Uh, you did have plans to make, you had plans to work together, maybe, uh, not to work together, sorry, to move forward, making plans of your future, but the challenge is the two of cups reversed here. And I see that this person was some someone from your past, okay? So it is someone from your past. It could be from your past life as well. And I do see a beginning of love coming to you because you did get the ace of cups here, okay? There is a love. Or maybe this is how you feel about yourself also, Sagittarius, okay? Uh, I feel some of you are dealing with um, an air sign, okay? It could be a Libra, uh, Gemini, or Aquarius, okay? Um, I feel that, uh, that you, some of you just gave up. You're not like, um, you gave up in a way. There's like, like a, some type of giving up. It could also be that, uh, if they're not children that are having a hard time in this union, if it, if it's not the children that are giving you a hard time, 
it's uh it's this energy of this soulmate that is i feel that it's there's a start there's things are being said I, i'm feeling like harsh words and in and out in and out of a relationship this is what i'm feeling i feel that right now you're re-evaluating everything sagittarius you're looking at everything in this relationship you're 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 really contemplating making future decisions okay you're trying to make decisions upon yourself and the angels are saying to me here that some of you are married that are going through a rocky time and that's why you have children and the children are having a hard time with this separation okay i feel for some of those of you i feel others of you that the angels are saying to have the faith because you feel like you're stuck but that's all in your mind because you're not sleeping and all you're doing is thinking in your head and in time you will be clear okay you'll have you'll everything will be clear to you but right now you are in this kind of uh, predicament because you have a lot on your shoulders i feel like you're carrying a lot of weight okay uh, I feel a lot of you is because it has to do with money, monetary. Okay, maybe you're a single mom taking care of two children. And uh, maybe that you are in separation with your husband, who is a soulmate relationship. Okay, uh, I feel that you're not, some of you are not working uh, as well. There's also, for other Sagittarius, some of you are not working. I feel that you're not even working on yourself, okay, on a spiritual level, meaning empowerment, self-love, taking care of you. I feel you don't know your self-worth, okay? Some of you are, like, really not in your element right now, okay? It shows me that at home, uh, it's not really a happy home at this moment. Where there was once celebration, there is not at this moment. And where there was once a future, there is not at this moment. Some of you do not want to open your heart uh, or uh, your heart is closed. Or for some of you, this has to do with finances. But you do have... Uh, uh, right now you are manifesting okay you are manifesting in a new future you will be manifesting uh everything in your heart's desires so they're asking you to keep your thoughts positive because i feel here your thoughts are not positive you're very hard on yourself you're very very harsh on yourself and with other people as well if things are not going right because you're not seeing things very clearly right now so we're going to go deeper into that reading okay because i want to see more or less what's going on for you sagittarius uh, let's see what cards am I gonna take. Okay, I'm gonna take. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take these cards. Okay, okay. Let's see what else is going on here. Messages for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus for November two thousand seventeen. Okay, the cards are ready. Okay, let me just cut them. There we go. Let's go. Okay. Once where there was a uh, passion in your relationship, at the beginning there was like, at this moment, or in the recent, not, not too long ago, there was, there was passion in the relationship, okay? Because you were looking forward to making plans together. Those are, now, this is for others of you. I see here that with, you are separated from this um, this uh, soulmate union because uh, there was some kind of backstabbing. I feel that there was lies, secrets, a deceit, uh, you know, uh, not being there for each other. Uh, I feel that you're not, both of you are, are not happy at this moment, okay? Uh, but there was, a, there was a start, okay, in your relationship. There was some kind of start, okay, a new beginning, I feel, for those of you with faith. You had faith and you, you went for it, okay? And I feel that, uh, this person, um, I feel some, this person is from your past again, again, I say this, but this person is from your past and maybe this person was different and you were both different in your past. And I feel that there's a renewal that happened, like the old is gone and something new is starting. And I feel some of you are pregnant with this person also. I see pregnancy here. Um, I, you're not in your element right now, okay? You're very unsure. You're not feeling it. Uh, I feel that uh, some of you um, have dealt with um, a third-party situation. It could be. It doesn't mean it's sexual, but there was some kind of third party that was not supposed to be there. Um, I, I feel that um, 
maybe this person was also controlling or maybe you were controlling of somebody okay Sagittarius I am just a messenger here okay uh, I'm not saying anything bad okay I'm just trying to uh, see what's going on here for you and helping you to see what was um, what is the the issue at hand this is someone that you keep thinking about all the time Sagittarius this person is always on your mind you're looking at their pictures um, you're reading text messages um, you know you're feeling sad okay you're feeling sad and uh, I feel for some of you that uh, the wheel of fortune is coming towards you but right now it's in delay okay things are going to change but there's a lot of things that need to be worked out here first it's you Sagittarius okay um, I feel also some of you are dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces maybe younger or there's another fire energy here like you okay that is um, you know um, Leo Sagittarius and Aries okay uh, let me see what else is there some of you are pregnant I do see this. Some of you here are also doing something creative as well. I feel that there's a job opportunity that right now uh, some of you are not working or you're not making a lot of money like you used to make and that's why you feel that you are not, uh, you're restricted and you feel that you have a lot on your back, okay? Um, I feel that there's been a lot of crying. You've been, I feel a lot, a lot of you have been in the dark, okay? You feel like you're in the dark. Uh, you feel that you are um, a lot of a lot of you feel that you're in the dark, okay. But um, at the same time, okay, the person that you were dealing with, um, could be also a Scorpio that you're dealing with, okay. There's kind of a resistance going on. There needs to be change here, and there isn't uh, because there's a like you res there's a resistance over here, okay. I also see a younger sign of air also. So this is Libra. I see an older and a younger air sign here of Libra, uh, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Um, yeah, and you know, this person is very intellectual. I see that this person is very, um, maybe uh, in the near future, you're going to be feeling like this, that you are going to be able to fix all your issues. Uh, like you're not gonna that you're gonna see things very clearly but at this moment you're not standing in your power some of you's um are always thinking about the certain man in your life and this is who you want to be with i do see like a new beginning of love here okay i do see that for some of you's here um i do see that and you did get the ace of cups okay I think did I got it twice. I got it twice here. The Ace of Cups. One one on the ground. Actually you have three ones on the ground. So it's one one one. Okay. So you did get three ones on the ground. There is a new begin oh actually no, sorry. Four. So eleven eleven. Alright. It could be an uh maybe you are gonna you're, there's a, sp a spiritual awakening. Maybe you're, some of you, uh, Sagittarius, are becoming your own twin flame, and you will be. Uh, you're going to be manifesting this twin flame union to you because this is another one. So the, here you go, five ones. I think also who got this? I just did a reading. Libra got the same thing. Okay, so maybe some of you are dealing with a Libra here. Okay, I do see that. No, this is for a one general reading. Now I'm going to go to the second general reading, see if I could see anything else for Libra. Okay. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 2017. Love and general reading. What are the messages for Sagittarius? My Sagis. 
beautiful sajis. You know, uh, Sagittarius, everybody, I say this for the collective, self-love, self-affirmations will help you to grow and evolve. And if those of you are dealing with a twin flame and they're having issues, the more you self-love and self-heal yourself, the faster that your twin flame will be doing the same thing because whatever you do for yourself is helping them too, okay? So just like telling you. So we'll see what it is here. Now I see some of you, there's a new beginning that's happening for you and uh, for other Sagittarius here. I see there's a judgment that's faded by the angels and there's a new beginning that's coming in and you have lots of faith, okay? And you are standing in your element or this could be also, okay? This could also be, um, besides you, because it's a general reading, could also be someone that is a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, okay? I do see this. Justice will prevail. Yes, there is a, uh, a soulmate union that's coming in together here. Oh, yes, I believe that some uh, whoever I'm reading for, this is for someone that has, that has Sagittarius, like you're a Sagittarius, but that your twin flame or soulmate, sorry, uh, have also... Uh, the Sagittarius in them. If it's not their sun sign, it could be their moon sign or their rising or their Venus. But you are both very powerful. You're both standing in your power. This is faded by the angels, okay? It's faded by the angels here. And anything that went wrong in your past, okay, Sagittarius, uh, it will be given to you in tenfold because you do have uh, beautiful cards here, okay? You do have uh, two of cups, two people coming together, uh, Equal love, sharing, a, you know, sharing love, okay? You see the moon here behind. Um, I do see this over here for some of you. Some of you could be also dealing with uh, earth sign energy, okay? Uh, which is someone younger, which is um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I feel more that it's a Taurus, but again, you know, it's a general reading. Uh, so, but it's, they're very slow paced people. Uh, they will come towards you. It is here in your cards, okay? Some of you will be married also. So some of you are going to be getting married, okay? And um, I feel that... Okay. Let's see why. Let me put it in here. Okay, this is the unknown cards. Okay. We're going to clarify a bit over here, okay, because I see that you guys are healing, uh, healing from a situation. Whoever this message is for, you're healing from a situation, okay? Um, I need to clarify some cards. So you're healing from a situation. Now, this is for a lot of Sagittarius out there, so you have to understand I'm reading for a collective. If it doesn't make sense to you, that means whatever that made sense up to you was for you and the rest is not for you. So I really want to put it out there. I feel that a lot of you are, uh, you know, you're thinking about your fears and you're, you're thinking about in the past how a lot of you are making a lot of uh, unrational decisions, meaning that you're not taking the time to contemplate and um, really understand what's going on, okay? You just make a decision and you do it and you don't think about the consequences, okay? I feel that you are in your element, okay, as a fire sign because you did get this, okay? In your future, but you also got in the outcome card the Queen of Cups reversed. Now, the Queen of Cups reversed could be someone else, okay, because it's it could be king or queen, it doesn't matter because it's a general reading. It could be that uh, it's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay. This could be you feeling these emotions, okay, uh, unstable, not knowing what you want, contemplating, you're thinking about things, okay. And I feel some of you are gonna walk away. Up, uh, you're, you're gonna walk away from something, okay? That's really good here. I do feel that, okay? I feel that some of you are not thinking about your decisions, okay? Because in the past, okay, there was a lot of crying in the past. Uh, it could be that uh, the person you were dealing with. Now, again, I'm gonna have to go into the reading more. This is just the first part of the reading I'm giving you right now, okay? Because I do have my other cards here to clarify. Because I need to clarify. Because I see here it's the end of hardships with you. Okay. And that uh, you're going to be free of hardships. But the angels are also saying here that a lot of you are not 
taking count and you're not being grateful in what you have you're looking at the things that you don't have and the angels want you to start counting your blessings and having gratitude okay because there's something that you're not seeing and uh a lot of you are not your intuition right now is not good okay you cannot even trust your intuition at this moment and you're resisting some kind of change i feel that there's a manipulative thing that's going on here now i'm not saying that to all the Sagittarius. I'm saying this is what I'm, I'm getting from my angels, is that you healed something that was painful for you, okay? Uh, that hurt you. Could be that third person situation. You're not forgetting. It's like something from the past that keeps coming into this. It's like you're bringing your past into your present moment. And some of you have lost your job. Some of you are dealing with uh, someone at work that maybe you did lose a, a, a job or a position. Okay, and some of you are consulting somebody, a psychic here, and I'm just putting it out there because my angels want me to tell you, you some of you are uh, consulting a psychic out there, and that psychic that you're consulting, now this is not for all of you, but for some of you, or one of you, who knows, okay, you're consulting someone that is not in her or him, his element, meaning that you're, uh, they, they don't see things clearly, so they can't show you anything, and the angels want you to go within yourself. To listen to yourself because I believe that for a lot of you this could be that you are already married to this person okay and uh, you're resisting a change that's coming um, or you're gonna get married to this new person that's coming into your life but yet the past is still here with you you're dealing with someone that's very narcissistic narcissistic characteristic controlling manipulative okay the worst kind okay in and out of your life, in and out of your life. Let's go. Now we're going to clarify here, okay? Sagittarius, just to get a deeper look. See what, let's, let's see together what, what the issue is over here, okay? If I could answer any of your questions that you have in your thoughts right now. We have the messages for Sag. Sagittarius for 2017, okay? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. There is going to be victory with this relationship that's here. Okay. For those of you that are asking me, there is going to be, are the angels, there is going to be victory with this new beginning that you're having. Okay. You're going to be moving forward. And you might. You, and you know what you're you've been very patient for some of you you've been very patient you have justice on your side okay um you have the six of swords uh oh six of swords sorry six of swords yeah you also have the six of swords that shows me here that um let me see what the angels are trying to tell me because they're giving me a lot of messages at the same time okay Whatever the situation here is, okay, is that there is victory in some way here, okay? What I'm trying to get to you, okay, is that it's not completed. This relationship here, whatever this is happening, because it's not very, uh, the angels are not going deep into this, because I think this is like for someone, this is like a private reading, I feel, okay? I feel that there's not things have to be completed. So I feel that this is something karmic. It doesn't have to be karmic for all of you, but it's some. It's I feel that there's it's not completed. Okay, even though you you went you walked away from this situation or person, I feel there's a lot of imbalance here, and this could be with you as well, Sagittarius. I feel that you're very emotional. You're crying, even though you're in your power of being a queen. Or a king, okay, because I did get both cards. I feel that there's a lot of emotions there that are not stable and you're contemplating and thinking about it. But again, you got the justice card two times here. I'm going to show you. And it's going to be the end of your hardships, okay? The end of your hardships because there's a new beginning there. Yeah, I really feel that you're dealing with, or maybe you're dealing with a younger energy of of uh, um, Scorpio, Pisces, and uh, Cancer. See, there was a lot of fighting in the past. 
And there was a lot of anxiety in the past as well. Okay. There's something you're not seeing, Sagittarius. Okay. There's something that you're not seeing. Okay. There is a new beginning here. I see a new beginning for a lot of you. And it's going to be the end of all the all your hard hard um the end of all your um hardships, heartbreaks, everything. You have a lot of ones here. I'm going to look at the cards right now. I just see that you're not clear, okay? A lot of you are dealing with a Scorpio as well. You are going through a transformation here, okay? A major transformation and you will be uh resting in the near future, okay? And building and going forward with somebody um Yeah, you, you, you're doing good in a lot of ways. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean, okay? Um, you did get the Ace of, of uh, Pentacles. This is a gift that's coming towards you, okay? That could be a gift of love, uh, creativity, if it is something you're working on creative, okay? Um, if those of you that are going to court, I feel some people are going to court here. Well, justice will be on your side, okay? Because I know a lot of you feel like you're going to be losing a lot of money. Now, maybe you are you're you lost a lot of money now, but there's good things that are coming, okay? Or it could be love that's coming in. Finances, health, everything, okay? You did get the ace. But the 10, when I see... Um, let me see now. Let me just get, take my time. 10, 10. How many 10s are on the ground? I know I saw more than one. 10. Okay, and I'm getting all the same cards here. 10, 10, 10. There's a lot of 10s here, okay? The 10s become... Even though they're reversed or not reversed, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? Because in the end, it's telling me here that a lot of you are hurt by many things. That maybe not just in this marriage, okay? And you were carrying a lot on your shoulders, but it's going to be the end of carrying a lot, okay? And you need to be grateful for what you have. Maybe your home, your children. And look at the blessings, okay? Because this is the end of everything. So this is, all becomes like a one, 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 one. New beginnings, okay? I see this. New beginnings here. I also see that justice will be on your side. Okay, for those of you that are getting a divorce out there, there is justice being that's on your side here. Okay, you will you will get what is meant for be to be for you, because you cultivated being patient. And this is your card, Sagittarius Temperance. This is a beautiful card. I congratulate you on that. It's a beautiful card. You just feel very unbalanced right now. Okay, because of the energies that you have been going through. Okay, and there is a new beginning. I got that twice for you. Okay, there is a new beginning of love that's coming in for you. You probably didn't expect this to come in. Okay, Saj. And there is a new beginning of faith <clears throat> and love and leaving the old, the old beliefs, everything in the past and moving forward. But this is your challenge. This new relationship that's coming here. And I don't think you're ready for it because you are imbalanced. Okay, you are imbalanced. And you got hurt so much in the past. And right now, you're not clear, okay? You got the Ace of Pentacles down. You're not clear. You're not clear. It doesn't matter. Even if you go see a psychic or anybody, you go see a tarot reader. It doesn't matter. You won't get the messages because you're you're not clear and your intuition is off also, okay? Because the person that you're getting information from right now at this moment, I'm not saying all of you, but some of you are not getting a clear information Always check who your tarot reader is or your psychic is. Make sure that um, you know um, that you know you know more or less. You know, like because you know, I feel bad if you're getting false information. Okay, so I do see that. So this was a really nice reading. Now I'm gonna go towards the singles, those that are single, and dating. If I see something for all of you, there's a new relationship there for you. I don't think all of you were ready for that. Okay, because you're still healing from your past. Okay, uh, Saj. So, um, I'm going to use these cards for singles and dating. There's the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Everything takes time to heal. It's a process. We cannot skip over the healing processes. But there's justice coming towards you, okay? For those of you that are getting a divorce and you're worried that you're going to run out of money and you're feeling unstable, just know that the angels are there, okay? And they're providing and guiding you, okay? They just want you to have faith, okay, in them, okay? And believe. Okay. 
for the singles. Okay. Messages are coming in, but they're kind of slow right now. Okay, you're not getting for the singles. You're not getting the messages that you want. Okay, right now there's a kind of delay. I see here that a lot of you are not um, looking at everything, like you're not contemplating everything in your life. I see that you're open to have a, new re a relationship. Um, I, I see that there's somebody coming in, maybe a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces or Sagittarius, okay, or uh, an air sign younger than you, which is a Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. I see that there's going to be celebration under the home. Um, I see that some of you are not evaluating. I don't know about what it means, but I'm going to uh, take uh, cards to... Um, to verify more or less clarify for the singles okay but there is messages that are going to be coming in for you for the singles uh for those of you that are online dating uh or if you're uh on a social media i do see that's happening and there's going to be celebration under the roof so i do see you meeting somebody but uh like i said i'm just i there's some kind of like you're not taking control of it i feel because you don't know much more or less what's going on you're not taking control of it okay what are the messages? Yeah. So, for the singles here, I'm getting... I'm going to have to take another card to clarify again. I'm going to clarify a bit more for you guys, okay? For the singles... I feel that here for the singles, you're going to meet somebody, okay, uh, but just uh, really uh, learn how to use your intuition and evaluate everything the person tells you, like it doesn't matter, like through the text, like just read what they're saying and try to read between the lines, because I feel a lot of you are like in your head and you're not sleeping at night, okay, some of you are dealing with, um, you could also be dealing, again, I, I feel like in the near future, when you do get together, there's going to be a lot of fighting between you guys. I don't know if it's you guys fighting or just people around you that want to fight around you. Um, you have the sun that's shining there, okay? Um, there's going to be changes coming, but good changes for you, okay? But just be careful of the energy, who you're talking to. I feel there's more than one person here. Um, because I feel that you're going to, if you're not careful, uh, if you're not careful of what's happening... Okay, because you did get the Ace of Pentacles here, so there is a new love that's coming in. Could be finances, health, okay, everything your heart desires, but this is always in divine timing, just know that. I feel that a lot of you are dealing with a character that is not good for you, okay? Those that are dating, that start, not, those that are single that are, just maybe put yourself online or something and you're talking to some people, there is someone coming in, but I want you to be careful. Okay, because the energy I'm getting from this person is not a good person. But I see more than one person. I see a player here. I see someone that's, that is going to come in and out of your life. There could be a new spark. Yes, there could be. Okay, but it's not right away. Take your time. Okay, this is what the angels are telling me. Uh, you could also be dealing with an older uh, Virgo, Taurus, or uh, Capricorn as well. Uh, I feel it's more of a sexual energy that there is love here for the singles. Okay, just be careful because I do see a lot of people coming in together here. But I do see a potential of you having um, um, an opportunity to be with somebody to... Uh, this is for the singles, okay? That you are... Uh, there is an opportunity for you to be with somebody. Uh, maybe this person is already divorced and has kids uh, uh, as a child. And uh, I do see you guys have being happily married or together. It doesn't have to be marriage. But happily together uh, under one roof. And a lot of uh, beautiful, bright days ahead. Okay, this is for the singles. For those of you that are dating here, I see that uh, this person that you met, okay, uh, has, again, the energy here um, that I'm getting. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take uh, just another couple of cards here to clarify all these cards. Make sure for the dating, okay. I see that there's a lot of fighting your heart was open to the to this person. There was a lot of celebration in the home. The sun is shining. But I feel some of you are left in the dark. I feel some of you are going to be getting hurt. I feel there's like a backstab that's happening. I feel this person is secretive around you. They're keeping secrets from you. I feel that um, I feel that they are uh, not telling you the truth. 
okay and uh just be careful of their energy okay because i feel they're taking a lot of your time and energy and uh right now you are um you know You are like, um, what's the word? You're not sure of your emotions. Okay? That's what I'm getting. All of you are just waiting. I do see this. There's an imbalance in this relationship that you have. A lot of you could be dealing with a Libra, older person, like I said, or younger. This could be, uh, the messages are not coming very quickly. Okay, I feel that the messages are not coming in quickly. This could be with a um, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, or um, yeah, I feel there's a lot of confusion. You're not. You're not. There's something you're not seeing. The angels keep saying that there's something that you're not seeing. There's an imbalance here between both of you. Um, yeah, there's an imbalance. Okay, there's too much confusion here. Uh, let me take maybe another card from this over here. I'm just going to see if I can have an outcome for you because I'm just trying to figure out. The angels are just saying to be careful with this type of energy, but there is a gift that's coming towards you from the universe. You're healing and you're you're much you're a lot in confusion right now. Okay. Any more messages for the No, that's what the angels told me to say. Okay. Well just at least now you know just be careful okay of uh, who you uh who you are sharing your time with uh Sagittarius for the singles and couples okay um not singles and dating sorry singles and dating the ones that are singles and just dating just be careful of the people that you're meeting online because some of them are not truthful okay that's what they're saying to me so now I'm going to go for the couples and the ones that are married okay I'll see what they have to say for me here Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. What are the messages for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising? There we go. Okay. For the couples and the ones that are married. I feel that a lot of you that have uh, been trying to have children here are not succeeding in having children. And I'm sorry to hear that. The angels are telling me that. And you feel really like to the end of your wits about this because it's really hurting you. Like you're you're done. Okay. Um, I feel a lot of you also... Um, Anything that you try to uh, start, even in finances, I feel that things are not looking up for you at this moment. It's just because uh, there's a delay. The wheel of fortune is coming towards you, but right now it's in delay. Okay, for this is for the uh, couples and the ones that are married. Okay, I'm reading for both, and um, I feel a lot of you are uh, we're dealing with a Capricorn person. It could also be that. Um, in the past, you had with this person, there was um, kind of a, an addiction, or there was like um, something happened in your relationship, okay, that caused you guys to separate. Um, I'm seeing here twin flames for the couples and the ones that are married, okay. Something that really killed, like you feel like there's no more hope, and uh, the angels are saying that uh, not to uh, lose hope, okay, not to lose hope. Okay, because uh, right now, just because you're in separation doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Okay, let's, let's I want to go a bit deeper and see what's going on in your reading. Okay, Sagittarius for the couples and the ones that are married. Okay. What are the messages for Sag? My beautiful Sag. 
you are resting now. For I feel that some of you lost a, a baby. You had a miscarriage. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I feel your energy here. Okay, there's so much confusion for you. You're so much crying. But you're resting now. Okay, you're resting. I see that you're resting. Okay. And um, once where there was no... Uh, once when there was imbalance between you and your partner, who is your twin flame. For those of you that have a twin flame, it's not for everybody, right? There will be balance again, okay? And love will start again. But uh, your your uh, relationship, okay, for those of you that are in couples, it will come into balance again. But there's, uh, there's a delay period now, okay? The wheel of fortune is coming towards you, but the angels are clearing a lot of things behind the scenes for both you and your partner and love will come again but it's right now it's on standstill okay this is what they're showing me here okay and you are gonna be you are you are you will heal from uh the situation completely and uh there will be new beginnings okay for you yeah there's uh some of you will start also a new project okay i feel um, you just have to work on yourself and rebalance yourself or the partner you're with. You could be you're dealing with, um, I always see like Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Um, I also see, um, Virgo, Taurus, and, uh, Capricorn. Okay, I do see that. But, uh, there is a new project that's coming and a new rekindlement for the couples. I feel some of you are going to be starting over again, Okay. You're going to be starting again. I don't see any divorce here or any separate. I just see right now that you're separated from your twin. But I do see a new beginning coming towards you. It could be a beginning of a new love. Okay. It doesn't have to be with your twin. Friend. Okay. Let's see what else we have to say for Saji. Sagittarius. Yeah. I feel that maybe you and your partner or one of your partner, if you are in partnership here, uh, because I do see a separation here, that one of you's lost their job. It could be that one of you's lost money. I feel that there is a pregnancy here again for others of you. Some of you had a miscarriage and some of you, uh, there will be a f some, uh, I see in the future, there will be a pregnancy that's coming towards you. Okay. For those of you that are still right now, you're in separation. Okay, for some reason, okay, um, I believe that uh, you will get grounded and uh, this is coming from the universe and the stars, but you were dealing with an energy around you before that was very toxic, uh, Sagittarius, I feel, okay. Uh, I do feel that, um, yeah, I feel that, I feel that you were dealing with someone that was very narcissistic, probably someone that was very manipulating of your life, very controlling, uh, you couldn't do much of anything. And I'm seeing this a lot. I don't know who. I feel like I'm reading for somebody. I feel there was a third party situation. But it was in the past. Okay. And um, you, the angels are also saying like. Uh, to reach out to the person that lost a job here. Okay. I do see that. Uh, some of you could be dealing also with a, a Virgo. Okay. A Virgo. All right. And you're not taking the time for yourself. But in, in your future. Okay. And these. Uh. And I'm going to show you this, okay, in a second here. Okay, because you're resisting this change, okay, whatever, because maybe you feel you have fear, okay, and you're resisting this change. But I feel here, okay, you got, again, the Ace of Pentacles, some, a gift that's coming towards you. I can't stress this enough for you, okay. Uh, you also got, okay, the Chariot, which could be Cancer, but it could also be that your light and your shadow will be within you will be in balance. You're going to be moving, moving forward and con you're going to be in control of your life. Okay. You could be dealing with a cancer here. But I see that you're going to be working and evolving with this person and growing. Okay. And uh, having future plans with this person. And again, I got the Six of Pentacles, which shows me it could be also you're dealing with a Libra. But I also feel here that your family will be in balance again. Okay. With your partner. I, but there's, there's, there's something that's coming, like, you need to go through this transformation, Sagittarius, okay, for whoever I'm reading for, there's a transformation, it could be also you're dealing with a Scorpio, but it is a transformation you're going through, and it's judgment, okay, it's a judgment from the angels that are coming in for you, okay, and um, just to top it off, I'm going to give you another card to 
clarify these other three cards because I don't want to leave the reading like this because I know how that feels when people... Uh, I don't want to leave the leave the, neg the reading negative because it doesn't have to be negative, okay? It doesn't have to be negative. You're just contemplating what's going on right now, okay? And yes, you know what? In no time, you will be manifesting everything. So I want you to keep your thoughts clean and positive as much as possible. Sagittarius, don't be hard on yourself and work on yourself. Self-love, self-empowerment. Because you're going to be like... An, um, you're going to be like... Um, a manifesting machine, okay? And you're going to be moving forward. You're going to be moving forward. And um, keep working on yourself. That's what the angels are saying because justice will be on your side, okay? Justice will come to you in any way, shape, or form. If this has to do with monetary or having a baby or fixing a relationship that you are in right now, okay? Um, yeah, you will be open to it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed your reading. Now I'm going to go towards the cards that... Um, that the angels... When I This was from the beginning. I did not see them. I just, you know, shuffled them and they came out. So we're going to start with the psychic, uh, the psychic tarot. And the first card I got is number eight. Eight could also mean uh, infinity or soulmate love. And it's positive moving forward, okay? So you're going to brighter days, okay? Just know that there's brighter days coming and not to lose hope and fear. And don't, don't, I don't even think about fear because fear is an illusion, but you will be moving forward and positive, okay? And um, you got also number 19 for those of you that want to know. And it's the light, okay? So right now, if a lot of you are feeling darkness, okay, just know that light will be shining upon you. Just count, you could count on your angels and spirit and God and creator himself, okay? The light is the light that shines within you. Then you light up the whole world, okay? So, um, you know, if you feel, it's like the darkness. If you, let's say you're in a dark room and you open, let's say, you open the light, it takes the darkness away. So, this is like the same kind of symbol meaning towards this card, okay? So this is number 19. And the next card you got was hope number 17, for those of you who want to know. So there is hope in this situation, for those of you that want to know. There is renewal and hope, okay? So these are your affirmation cards, okay? Number 20 is number uh, the first affirmation card. It's the throat chakra. Maybe some of you have to speak your truth, okay? Um, you have to speak... You could be wear you could wear the color blue, or a lot of you. I feel that you need to work on expressing yourself and talking instead of just doing a lot of like uh, rash de de um, decisions. Okay, let's you you could repeat after me if you like. If you don't want to, it's fine. Okay, uh, it's an affirmation and it really helps. Okay, so it says you say you could say I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs. Okay, there's always. You can speak your truth, Sagittarius, but there's also, you have to listen to also the other person that needs to speak their truth as well, okay? Uh, so let's repeat again. I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs, okay? And if I, all of, if you want, you could also do uh, on YouTube a throat check or healing, okay? You could do that. And, uh, you know, maybe if you need to heal your throat chakra, you could go see a healer or just wear a lot of blue. And start speaking your truth and let others speak their truth as well. Okay, Sagittarius. Next card here I got is number 22 for some of you. And it's Archangel Gabriel. Hmm. Yes. Mm. I have to give a kiss to Archangel Gabriel. So, look how beautiful this card is, Sag. It's a beautiful card. Look at the beautiful the lilies. It's those of you that love lilies. Beautiful angel here. Okay, and... Uh, the affirmation is, I invite Archangel Gabriel to bring hope and intuition into my life. So I repeat after me. I invite Archangel Gabriel to bring hope and intuition into my life. This is perfect because you need this. And I took these cards at the beginning of the deck. They came flying out and I did not look at them. And throughout your reading, it sees I sh this is a blessing for you that this came in. So now we'll see the universe. you got a lot of three cards here, three and two cards. The first card you got is number two. For those of you that want to know, number two. Look how beautiful this card is. 
I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully that it won't cause too much um, um, reflection. And I'm going to read to you. Okay? Oh, here we go. Number two. It says, illuminate. That's your card, illuminate. You are a shining star. See, this card goes with you. This is a card. I believe that now. This is like, ah, uh, that's what I love about doing card readings or just doing readings because angels keep confirming what I'm telling you. You are a shining star. In truth, you were born to illuminate the world with your light. <laughs> The time has come to get out of your own way and allow yourself to be all you are meant to be. Remember, it is only the thoughts in your mind that hold you back and it takes a lot more energy to hold yourself closed than it does to let yourself flow up open. Okay? This card is asking you to allow yourself to take up space, to open yourself up and illuminate this world. Look how beautiful this card is. I am so happy for you that you got this card. Sagittarius, what a beautiful card. Next card you got is number 41, okay, 41, for those of you who want to know, it's also number 5, which means our changes are coming. Maybe by you looking at the card, you could see something through it, okay, uh, use your intuition, try to use your intuition. And number 41 is creative, creative, okay. You are fully aligned with the powerful light of source energy and loving harmony of Mother Earth. Your creative energy is centered and flowing. It is now time to embrace this energy. Perhaps you are an artist, a writer, a speaker, a dancer, a healer, a magician, or a musician, or whatever. The dedicate time each day to using your creative force in a way that brings you joy. Keep yourself grounded and connected through meditation. When you are aligned with Source and Mother Earth, your creative, creative juices flow in abundance. What a beautiful card. Another beautiful card. And we'll see the last one is number 30. Okay. For those of you that want to know. And this is your card. Okay. And you can look at it. Here we go. Hope there's not too much reflection on it. Because I really want you to see the card. Okay. Now, so number 30. See what it says here. Expansion. Okay. It is time to share yourself on a much, much larger scale. This, the expansion card is about your connection to large groups of people, whether it is to offer yourself in service through community events, volunteer work, workshops, or healing groups, speaking or publishing your writing. It's about sharing your gifts and talents in a way that serves many on a more public scale. In doing so, your energy reaches far and wide, having a meaningful and powerful effect on all those whose lives you touch now. Now is the time to really put yourself out there. So take a deep breath, trust the process, and open wide. Okay? I do believe that because you are you have a positive movement forward. What a beautiful reading, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I want to thank you again for everything that all the comments, likes, and shares, and the love that you share with me, uh, Sagittarius. Um, I also want to announce something new for you. Okay? Um, for those of you that have been trying to reach me for like a 10-minute reading, 15-minute reading, or a question, or anything, I'm excited to announce that InstantGo.com has added me as one of their professional psychic mediums, okay? And uh, it's a free app on only iPhone right now and iPad. They're working on Android as we are speaking now, but it's about two years that they exist, okay? And uh, the co-founder actually is Canadian. But he lives right now in the States, okay? With uh, So he lives in the States. And um, so it's I-N-S-T-A-N-T-G-O.com. Instantgo.com, okay? And it's free. It's a free app. You can download it. And for those of you that want a question answered or if you want a phone call and you want to, uh, you know, me to do like a 15, half an hour reading on it, um, it's a perfect way because you know what? I don't have to wait for this PayPal thing. I find it very annoying that I have to wait five days all the time because I have a commercial business. It's not a personal business. It's commercial. So they're asking me always to wait five days to make sure that the payment is there. But this is very fast. It You get charged as we speak. Okay. And you see the amount. And then if you decide to stop, you stop. 
but it's a very nice way and it's also a nice way for me to be uh, I'm a phone call away from you or or a text away from you so I just wanted to share that with you um, that I am now with uh, with instantgo.com for those of you that uh, I haven't uh, for those of you that do want a personal reading underneath this box if you press a little icon it's all my information I do a lot of live readings on Instagram you could follow me there I also do sometimes um, I, I post a lot on Facebook and um, tonight, I don't know what time tonight, which we're Sunday, November 5th, um, I'm probably going to be going live on uh, Instagram, uh, but not right now, okay, because I'm finishing uh, your reading here and have other readings. But um, if you want to, if you all, if you want um, a one-on-one -on -one reading, then you, there's my uh, email at the bottom of the, of this video here, okay, that you could contact me. So I wish, uh, Sagittarius, I wish you all um, a beautiful month of November. I, I, I wish you a lot of blessings and I hope that everything goes well for you. Just know that I'm there for you and I feel your energy and um, I really believe that everything will be okay. You just need to have faith, okay? And I love you. Take care. Bye.